Finally guys, I found enough time to play zone operation and in this video I want to help you to pass challenge 8 with all activity buffs. But before I'll start playing, let's quickly check what I'm using. As you can see, almost all my equipments are excellent, only Eternal Suit is legendary because I do not have it in lower quality. From equipments, I highly recommend you to use Kunai, Eternal Suit and Stylish Belt, other equipments are up to you. Then next what I want to show you my tech parts. I changed my legendary precision device, an exit, because most of you don't have it. So guys, let's start, let's active all these debuffs, especially your favorite, which doesn't allow you to restore your health. In this challenge, at the beginning, it's very important to get the right skills. Perfectly, would be great if you'll get Guardian and will make it 3 stars. But there is also another strategy, for which you should be lucky with skills too. For this strategy, you must make shuriken quite fast. As for me, this strategy is the best because shuriken will help you to kill the first two bosses without dying. Another useful skill, which will help you at the beginning to not die, is Ruin Suit. Thanks to it, you will be receiving less damage, it's must have skill in this challenge. Another useful skill, or better to say skills, are drones. Yeah, bosses in this challenge are quite tough and they will help you to kill not only them. So from weapon skills in this challenge, you just need drones and guardian. Other skills are up to you guys. From supply skills, survivor instinct, ruin suit, heal for your kunai and guardian. Besides these skills, very important to have fuel, it will help you to survive waves of zombies. And the last supply skill, I highly recommend you to choose Fitness Guide, because bosses in this challenge are really tough, especially the last ones. Ok guys, now you know about skills and equipments, which are better to choose, and on which is better to focus at the beginning of the game. Now let's continue watching this run, how I passed this challenge. To see what I was choosing, what skills I was getting, and how I was playing. As you can see, I was quite lucky with skills, but it's not my first run, guys, it's my, I know, fifth? Yeah, probably fifth run. I was focused on Kunai, I made Shuriken quite fast. Plus I had Guardian 1 star, which little helped me to not be killed. Very useful for this challenge is Stylish Belt, especially when you'll make Shuriken. I literally was saved a lot of times thanks to this shield. It doesn't matter how good you are, but Meteors will hit you anyway. This shield is very useful, especially at the beginning, when you don't have Ruin Suit or your Ruin Suit is 1-2 stars. The biggest problem in this challenge is probably these Fireballs, because you have them a lot. To avoid them better, you need to move to sides, but don't move too fast. If you'll watch carefully, you will notice that they shoot them like a set of projectiles. You need to wait a little and swing to the opposite side. As you can see, I made shuriken in little more than 2 minutes. Now look how I'm easily dealing with enemies. The only thing I need to do is only to avoid these meteors. Sometimes it's not really easy to do because we have lasers. But when you will not have them, collect by few, try to collect more to get more skills. From skills, focus more on guardian, try to make defender. Destroyer, as you have shuriken, is not super needed. Focus more on Ruin Suit, on Survivor Instinct, on Fuel or Fitness Guide. Maybe focus more on skills that will help you to... that will let you to receive more damage. As you can see, I was above bosses, try to be below them, because they can shoot missiles. I don't know how, but somehow I managed to kill them without dying. Anyway, as you can see, I was almost dead, I literally had like 1% health. But you will be very surprised that we will not die for quite long with this health. What really saved me was fitness guide, because when I was choosing it, I was getting health. It's another reason to choose this skill. Ok guys, the first two bosses are defeated, now we need to prepare ourselves for the fight with the next two bosses. For this, you need to focus on ruin suit and you need to make destroyer. But don't forget about ways in these minutes, you also will need defender and fuel, I know maybe 2-4 stars. Unfortunately bosses are not the only problem. As you can see I just made defender, with defender it was easier to play, it was easier to survive. After making defender I was lucky with fitness guide, which restored a little of my health. 
technically didn't restore gave me additional health. As you could see, fitness guide is quite useful here. As I told you focus on rowing suit, I was focusing on it. Again we have fireballs, do not forget to move to sides and not move too fast. Don't worry about mobs, you have defender, it's enough to get rid of them. By the way guys, if you have Voidwaker Glows, handguards, they are also very useful here. They insta-kill mobs with less than 20% health and do and increase your damage against bosses and elites. These two skills are probably better than, I don't know, maybe Legend Eternal Glows. I mean, if your handguards even at excellent quality. These minions are quite tense because soon we'll have next two bosses. But I like them because we have a lot of enemies, it's interesting minute. Previous challenges were not really interesting for me because I was like watching TV. Playing with my kit, only in the beginning I was choosing skills, I was getting the right skills. Then I was holding my phone and was waiting when the challenge will end. As I remember there was one or two challenges before challenge 8 which I was little, play I was little playing. But they were not hard, I just needed to hide behind from that lightning. I prefer challenges where you need to combine different skills, different equipments. And it's not about your stats at all. Like extreme challenge, I personally do not agree the way how you should pass it. Because only whales could fully complete them. I'm okay with paid stuff here, but this game is called free game. Free game, not a paid game. But it was only the first season, maybe they changed the second season, this season. We'll see it in the last week, this season has 4 weeks. They made it shorter. Ok guys, now it's time to defeat the next 2 bosses. We have 3 bosses, I was quite lucky with Magnet. Because when you're choosing skills, you're doing damage to bosses and not receiving any damage for around a second. Just look at their health and you'll understand what I'm talking about. I don't know how guys, but somehow during the fight with these bosses, I didn't die. If you remember, I haven't died yet. Perfectly guys, till the fight with the final bosses, you will need to die not more than one time. But you can die even two times and beat them, but for this you need to be quite lucky to have a magnet, like in this situation, in this case. I was not that lucky, moreover I almost lose. But that fight you'll see a little later in this video, at the end of this video. In the last minutes you'll be able to maximize your skills. From the first minutes after beating 3 bosses I recommend you to focus more on fuel and ruin suit, try to maximize them first. Then focus on other skills because they're not that useful. As I told you at the beginning of this video, I survived without dying quite long, thanks to, mostly thanks to fitness guide. It was like restoring my health, but eventually I died guys, I died guys once because my fitness guide was 5 stars. I didn't have other ways to get additional health or somehow restore my health. Only after reviving I got full health. For me guys, these minutes, the last minutes are the easiest ones because you have, you have all needed skills, you have fuel, high star, 5 stars now. You have good surviving skills, throwing suit, fitness guy, and of course good weapon skills. Only thing you need is to avoid meteors, meteors and lasers. By the way guys, about pets, if you have legendary rex, it's better to use rex instead of croaky because croaky is, is dying quite often and as for me it's uh, less useful. Plus legendary skill will help you a lot because it will take 30% damage instead of you. Ok guys, less than a minute left, again we have these fireballs, but not many, it's a way easier to avoid them. I know how about you, but as you can see, I barely have enemies. So I'm just collecting by fuel and looking for and I'm looking for a magnet. Unfortunately, as I told you, I didn't find it. And almost lose and almost almost lost. You'll see it in a few seconds, guys. Thank you. 
10 seconds left. And here we go, here we go, the final bosses. Captains. We have at the final bosses, we have two captains. Really hard, really hard to avoid all these boots, guys, plus meteors, plus lasers. Perfectly, you need to have a magnet before fighting with them. And one or two grenades. But as you can see, it's possible to pass this challenge, where you cannot restore your health with super high quality equipment. In my next video, I will help you to pass the next card challenge where you cannot restore your health, challenge 10. So do not miss that video, you know what to do, subscribe my channel. And would you get if you will like this video, it helps me to make a better content for you. As you can see, challenge 8 is passed with crappy equipment.